plaintiff, Fanshawn Kent, is the director of the Miss Black Ohio pageant, and the defendant was a contestant. Fanshawn claims after the defendant lost, she started a physical altercation with Fanshawn's niece. So she's suing for emotional distress and the cost of a car key. Defendant Erica Field says after the pageant was over, she discovered her advertisement was not placed in the program. Erica insists she was simply trying to get a refund for the ad when a fight broke out. So she's countersuing for the refund, a retainer fee, and slander. Start with you. Okay. So I'm the director for Miss Black Ohio pageant, and I've been doing so for the past 15 years. Miss Black Ohio. Miss Black said. Ohio and been affiliated since 1994. It's a family-run pageant, so we help the, young, the community, uh, young girls come to our pageant to go through workshops and things like that. And so this year, Erica is one of the contestants in the pageant. She represented the adult category. Um, and our organization is affiliated with the Miss Black America pageant system to where uh, people like um, Oprah Winfrey and Amorosa went through. So we've got a pretty long history. And so we're pretty proud of what we do in our community. Is that so. the one Kenya Moore went through? Uh, she well? did the Miss Black USA. Okay. Yes. Is that uh, the same or? They're different. Miss Black America has been around since 1969. So, okay. and Miss Black USA has been around shortly the late 80s or so. Okay. Yeah. Well, Kenya's from Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> you have anybody that win national? We have one girl that came in second place. Uh, second, but Kenya yeah. came in first. And yeah. she's, <laughs> and she's from Detroit. Yes. So You're in Ohio? Yes, Ohio. What part of Ohio? Columbus, Ohio. You need to set up shop in Detroit. <laughs> So y'all can win number one. Yes, we can do that too. <laughs> Just kidding around. You have to say nice things about Kenya. She's a drama queen. If I don't say nice things about her, she might come in here and turn this joint out. <laughs> you ever watch her on Atlanta Housewives? Yes, I She's do. turning it yes. out, isn't she? She does, yeah. Mm, go ahead. Yes. Um, so we're pretty proud of what we do as far as working with young girls in our community and getting them ready to compete in national Good. pageants. And as I mentioned, Erica was one that competed. She did not move to the next level and we usually tell the girls what to do post the win so they're supposed to greet the girls that win and stand around for pictures and things like that well turned around Erica was immediately gone so she instantly was upset about not winning is what we assumed but we went on we still had programs that we had to do the girls were doing photos at the end and at the end of the program is where things got really, really bad. So um, Erica did not win, and she raised the question. She confronted me about a program book, which is another uh, sponsorship opportunity. The girls place ads to uh, be able to, you know, help further mm -hmm. along the scholarship programs. So one of the ads that she placed um, was not in the book, and we found out at the end of the program. Somehow it just did not make it to the book. Okay. It was an oversight in the production and printing and setting up. How much was that? The ad was for $150. <laughs> so we would have settled the matter that Monday, business, first day of business, because at that point, for security reasons, we take everything off the site. So she wouldn't have been able to get it that day anyway, because the money was already off site. So we explained, hey, we'll, we see it's not in there. We'll make the right wrong, no big deal. I couldn't even get that out before she threatened me. Let me hear from her. <laughs> Go Judge ahead. Mathis, a majority of what she's saying is um, correct so far, except for me not being there at the end of the pageant. I did not win the competition. It was another female in my category that won. After she was crowned, I gave her a hug. I exited the stage. I had about 12 to 15 people from my family, my friends, my coworkers. So after the pageant, she says you asked for your money regarding the ad. Absolutely, when I went to the- When did you notice the ad was missing? After the, pa immediately after the pageant, I went to the audience to hug everybody who came to support me, and um, I was informed that the ad was not placed. The most important ad was in place. Um, I asked Fanshawn about it. She did acknowledge that it wasn't in there. Um, I asked her for my money. She told me I was not gonna be able to receive it at that time, and I told her I didn't trust that she wouldn't duck and dodge me after today and that I want my money today. Her niece began to explain that I wasn't going to get my money. She was the bookkeeper. She has the money. We'll settle it, settle it at another time. At this point, she was yelling and screaming. Who? The bookkeeper, Brittany, her niece, That's that had the money. Um, and more of their family, just a family ran pageant, mm -hmm. came over to where we were having the conversation. An altercation broke out. At that time, I was not hit, assaulted, and nor did I assault anyone. My fiance said, let's go. Go get all your stuff from the dressing room. Let's go. The police were called. They came. Were you arrested? Absolutely not. Was anyone arrested? No. no. All right. 
And let me hear from you regarding yeah. uh, the altercation. Right. So there was the some of what she said is slightly true. She confronted me. Her and her mother. They had me pinned in a corner, and they were making threats. Her mother told her to literally hit me in my and I can't say what she said, but she said to hit me in my face. Hit her in her face, hit her in her face. Did and you I hear said, that? Uh, no, absolutely oh, not. She's, come on now, Erica. Ahead. Her mother threatened me, and it scared me because I'm mm -hmm. thinking I'm in my dress, I'm in my heels, I got, you know, there were people out there that were mm -hmm. still attending the pageant. I couldn't have fought even if I wanted to. You were the hothead. That is totally unreasonable for you to walk up to this woman during the middle of the event or right after the event, seeing that she has a gown on and insisting that you get your $150 because you don't trust that you'll ever get it. I think you were being um, unreasonable. Absolutely not, Judge. The, the, I the, think absolutely so. The, the conversation... <laughs> I, I, I think I make this decision. The, the conversation didn't escalate until she called her family members as well as her... her Why do you think she to... did that? I, I don't know. Maybe I to think, intimidate... Well, I think she did it because me? she was in fear of you and your family. No one calls for support unless they need it. Or and to, to intimidate someone. And after she explained that she had the money mm -hmm. and that I wasn't going to get it today, mm -hmm. more of their family came over because the conversation wasn't, was no longer a conversation. It'd be, it was a screaming match because mm -hmm. she was yelling, you're not getting your money today. And her when she family first told over. you we can't pay you today, what was your response? I, I want my money back and explain oh, to her. Okay, see, that's what caused the, that's what escalated it. They told you they couldn't all, pay you today. That's not, don't this, talk over me when I'm talking. I'm not them. They told you you couldn't get your money today. You were, that was a totally inappropriate approach. You all in the middle of wrapping up a pageant. You approached you, where my money? My ad wasn't in there. I know you didn't go over there saying, uh, Mrs. Kent, where's my money? Can I have my money tonight? And she says, no, you can't have it tonight. I know Brittany didn't walk up to you and say, we can't pay you tonight because so-and-so. Actually, that is that. how she I don't approached believe you. It. Don't believe you. So what happened afterwards? After that, this whole, it just spiraled out of control. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I remember seeing is my niece being hit. And I, we have, like I said, we were closing out the program. We mm -hmm. had former queens that were there that helped with What do you have program. you want to show These me? These are pictures um, that were just so happened to be caught by the photographer at the end of the program. And that was a, a mob. Fight. And Erica stormed around me because I told her her mother. She's had not to leave. in any of the pictures, Erica. Oh yeah, Erica's in there. Show me yes. where she is. Okay. And she said she walked away. Oh or no, she didn't walk away. Did okay. not participate. Mm -hmm. She said she yeah. was an angel. No, this is her right here. She's. That's her. Yeah, I'm fine. Right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right below. Right. Right. And. Well, she was. She was fixing her hair. Yeah. Being an angel, uh, Judge. Yeah, I mean, she was. Fixing yeah. her hair, but somebody was holding you back. No, they were getting me out of the way, so I wouldn't no, get no, hit. No, the man holding you back. I'm looking yeah. right at him. The man got his arm on you yeah. like that. Hold back. And you weren't fixing your hair. You were trying to throw something. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, it's interpretable as to whether the man was protecting you or holding you back. He certainly had his hand out in front of you. Your emotional distress, ma'am, how does yeah. she owe you? Well, she actually caused For an addition to For provoking it, that's what you're saying? Yes, from start to finish. It just was so bad because we had been doing this for so many years and have our event ruined by something we could have settled on Monday or Tuesday, the next business day. She, as a result of her actions and, and really having things escalate out of control, my car key was lost to my car, so my car had to be reprogrammed um, so that cost me some money there. We had people... What was your car key? It, my niece had it. And when she was punched by her um, and her family, my, the key went flying. It's actually one of the pictures you, you can it? see. It. Yeah. It's, Judge. It was gone. Yeah. And mm -hmm. She yeah. stated that I stole the key in one report in small claims court. And then in another report, she said that someone told her that they seen my mother pick it up. It's, Is it's, that true? Yeah, we you had gave two different accounts. She actually, someone stole my key. My key was gone. It was there. No, that I night. said, did you give two different accounts? No, I don't think I gave two different okay, accounts. Okay, let's see. She Absolutely. says she has one where you told one law enforcement Both of them are official one thing and a court a different thing. Mm -hmm. And you say that's not our true? Witness, yeah, our witness said that they no, saw... No, I say you say you didn't tell two law enforcement agencies two different things? I didn't talk to law enforcement about my key because at the time we didn't know what okay, happened to the complaint, key. Okay, uh, complaint signed by you mm -hmm. says she stole my car key. 
uh, police report said you told them that sometime during the incident, you lost your key. Yeah. That's and was one. not sure what happened. Right. At the so you did tell two different agencies. Well, here's the, the time. police. Don't talk over me. You told two different mm -hmm. agencies two different things. Right. Right. Y'all know no. it's right. And you just <laughs> kept no. insisting no, that it wasn't. I can explain. Yeah, no, nothing to explain. You tried. I gave you two chances to explain, okay. and you lied both chances. No, I didn't do that. No. Well. No. Let's get to you. Your counterclaim, <laughs> ma'am, is for a retainer fee for a lawyer and the cost of an ad and for defamation. How did she uh, defame you, which would be your biggest uh, claim today? Yes, Judge. Uh, Mathis, the day after the pageant and the altercation and the entire situation, I got a text message from one of the pageant moms stating that the information that was on this on her site under my picture um, that she didn't like it and that it was inappropriate and everything like that. I went to the site. I have print offs of the site. It's still up there today. I looked this morning and the saying that I have plastic surgery, saying that I'm a tranny, transvestite, um, just defaming me and being that I am currently. You have that? Yeah, absolutely. Are you saying I said that? Being that it's your, it's her website. I have nothing to do with that. Ma'am, talk to me. Yeah, it's I on have... your website though. No, that's not our website. It's a third-party source. She said it is on your site. It is not my site. What is it? It's called Photo Bucket. And you have no association with it. No, not at all. It's Photo Bucket. She uploaded the site for the competition. This is her site. This is who, how, who it created it. It is not my it. site. She created the site, put I all of the contestants' the photo on the Take site. Look. You haven't seen I did it. not create you the site. Yeah, it. but I know I did not create well, the site. Well, I have the email it. that she sent look, to all of on, the contestants. Hold on, Hold on. Yeah, I did not create the site. It's a photo bucket. It's a general use. She has a profile on photo bucket where she uploaded the competition. It's on her site. She did you is, do that? She's the no, only person. No, I didn't even know anything about this. And anybody she's can... She's the only what? She's the only person that can edit, can take down the site. Is so that if true? if I wanted to take down the... Hold on, is that true? Yeah, these look like these Ma'am, are... answer my question. No, that is not true. Okay, you're not the only person who can take it down. No, I'm not. Can it's... you take it down at all? I can take it down, but I'm not the only person... How, if you don't have anything to do with it. No, it's not my site. She's trying how to say it's my site. How can you take it down if you have nothing to do with it? It is not my site. I didn't ask you that. Right. I said, how can you take it down if you have nothing to do with it? Well, we haven't taken it down. It's I said, it. how? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Know. You're coming no. across as a big Your liar. Honor, now you know. can take it down, but you had nothing to do with it. No, I did. Just you like you lied about this. So, Your Honor, if you this knew, says if here, you had this up, knowing as you just said, you can take it down. You have furthered the slander that was committed oh, no, against Your her. Your judgment is granted. Yours is dismissed for perjury, oh, oh, among no. other things. Four thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. Have a good day. I'm just happy that. The judge was able to see the evidence, the raw evidence, and grant my judgment. She's a liar. That is not my information. Had no idea about that.